Hello and welcome to the T Gray Pup channel. In this video, I'd like to discuss the issues I've been having with my fourth vendor, my fourth wig vendor. I feel like this is more of a cautionary tale of what you can expect when dealing with these wig vendors. If you would like to hear my story, then please keep watching. Okay, so my problem begins when I started dealing with my fourth wig vendor. Um, as you can see in my playlist, Testing Vendor Hair Series, um, I have like maybe two videos. One is the initial uh, video, which I'm going to be talking about right now. And in that video, I discussed with you about how um, they sent me a wig that was um, uh, irregular or whatever. It had gaps in the, the left hand side. As you can see on the right, it's perfectly fine. So um, what I did was, um, you know, I sent them an email and this is what it said. Okay, so in the return e email they sent to me, I had the option of getting $20 back or getting uh, a new wig, but I'd have to send the original one to them, back to them. And as you can see, it says times three, which means I had to send them this email like three times before I got a response. So I was a little bit upset about that. First of all, why are you sending me something that you know was um, in poor condition, especially when you know that I was uh, searching uh, samples, which I did pay full price for this um, full price wholesale, of course. But uh, still, like you didn't have enough respect for me to even send me, you know, a decent quality uh, wig for me to review. Okay, so I had taken notes and this is what I, the details of the wig and the things I had to go through in order to get it back and stuff like that. So this is before I actually got the wig back and um, here are my thoughts because uh, I did a video on this. Here are my thoughts that I had um, while going through this process. Okay, now on to my opinion. Uh, me personally, I think uh, this is a terrible company. Um, they can't even ship uh, quality material to you. And their responses, as far as like my emails, like I said, I had to, to uh, email them three times to let them know that I wanted to get a return. Um, I haven't heard from them yet. I can't remember exactly the date that I told you that um, I actually physically shipped it. And I haven't heard from them yet. So I'll have to go back and text them again. Hopefully, uh, you know, they'll send it back. Uh, I believe they may be waiting because I did, this purchase was made through PayPal. I don't know, I'm just suspicious, I guess, but I believe they're trying to wait to, um, where you can't get a refund at all, because what's up with all the delays, you know? So I guess it's better to learn now who you're dealing with than to wait later, and when you have a customer waiting on a product, you're not able to ship it because, you know, you have any return products that were sent to you that was garbage to begin with or you have to wait for them to ship it and everything so um i don't think i want to deal with this particular company but i will want my wig or my money back okay so this is the part where i did get the wig back and um let's talk about that for a second okay i did another video and it was an update to my situation eventually they did send me the wig and this is the look i had came up with and um because my mama wanted it pretty short uh long story short i i like the wig um after this i thought you know maybe they weren't so bad after all which was uh my mistake because i wouldn't be making this video right here for you now Okay, uh, my next uh, thing I want to talk about is a past event, which gives you a clue uh, what to expect in the future. Okay, so even though this particular incident has nothing to do with uh, this wig, wig vendor, however, it gives me an idea of how credit card companies work. So um, I'm just going to go over the situation to uh, establish what is my mindset at the, the moment when I did what I did when I did. Okay, so... Um, Okay, my story begins at AutoZone. Um, I went to my local AutoZone. Someone else needed uh, jumper cables and I got it for them because I had the money at the time. So as you can see here, uh, it's the one at the top. 
that I purchased and it was $31.73. Okay, so I ended up returning um, the jumper cables and as you can see, here's my return slip. Now, the reason why I've taken a picture of this is because nowadays they make these receipts I remember they do this at Walmart too, that rub off, the ink rubs off eventually after so long. So basically what I'm saying, luckily I decided to take a picture when I noticed the first rubbing off right here. So I had enough presence of mind to take a picture and I'm not even sure why I did, but I just did, which I was pretty uh, luckily uh, in the right state of mind to have taken this picture because it's going to help me in the very end of this story. Okay, so you're going to see a series of transactions and dates here. That's because uh, the company said that they couldn't find the receipt, a return slip. So my, my credit card company said I didn't have any proof. So it was it's basically on me to prove that I had uh, gotten a return and a return slip. Not the company that actually accepted the return and gave, gave me a slip. To prove that I had, you know, given them their stuff back and they had gave me a return slip to prove that, you know, I was issued a return. So I had to go back and forth. And eventually, uh, the first time I had sent it to them, they, my bank, they said they didn't get the receipt. So they recharged my account for the purchase price of those um, jumper cables, okay? Okay, so the very next thing I did was I had sent an email to the company, customer service or whatever. Or I called them whatever and they told me they had no um, no indication of whether or not they had received anything they had no information whatsoever I bet you they have information when you make a purchase okay so uh, what I did was I uploaded the receipt again to my credit card company and eventually they got it so eventually I was able to get my return back so basically what I'm saying apparently you have to prove uh, your innocence when it comes to these credit card companies because they automatically are going to take the side of the uh, seller um, basically what I'm saying so uh, basically I had to deal with this and it's pretty frustrating because not only do they have my the jumper cables okay they also have my money as well so they basically stole from me and then they pretend like they're so innocent and they don't know what happened and they don't have any um, receipt or anything so, uh, wait a minute, you're telling me that you didn't get an extra set of jumper cables in your inventory? Are you kidding me? You really think I'm stupid, don't you? Which brings me to my next situation, which is what you're really here for, was my issue with my fourth wig uh, hair vendor. And it's a similar situation, and we're going to get into that in a second. Okay, so I'm, I'm showing you right here... Um, the information they gave me as far as tracking after I made my purchase, as you can see here, um, we're going to be shipping through UPS. Okay, so as soon as they sent me the email, I was thanking them and I couldn't wait to receive my order because I'm going to sell y'all some really quality good wigs here. Okay. Okay, so at some point I decided to check and see when I was going to get my delivery and I noticed that it says signature required in order to get my uh, my package. Okay, so right here, I'm just telling them um, I work long hours. There's no way that I can do that. And in the meantime, I went to UPS and I had them uh, redirect it to um, a UPS facility that was near my job because I work far away from home and I work very long hours. Okay, so now we get into the thick of it. Uh, right here, they're telling me what they're going to do. You know, uh, I'll say for safety reasons, we're going to recommend that you have to sign out for the package, you know, and I don't have a problem with that, but I'm telling you that I'm having an issue with the delivery and this is what you tell me. So basically, um, I'm sorry, this is the way it's going to be. And say, so, so right now I'm thinking back, um, did I have any issue the last time when I got my package? And I don't think it was this difficult. I was able to get it right. And, um, twice actually somehow this this particular time became more difficult than anything. Okay, so as you can see here, it's been eight days since my last email. At least that's all I could find right now. And I had paid an additional, I forget, I want to say $10 extra for them to ship it to the local UPS to have it redirected. And apparently um, it was denied. That, that option was denied and it was no longer an option, okay? And as you can see here, I told them, 
that uh, UPS told me that the only way I'm going to get my package if I sit my ass at home and wait until it's delivered so I can sign for it. Now, I done already told you I work long hours and for the better part of the evenings, okay? So um, the only option that uh, apparently I have here is to call off from work, which we're already short staffed and um, it's just not possible. Okay, so they said they're going to contact uh, UPS and ask them at, to put it at a, lo a location for me and I can pick it up at that time and I should ask them again, okay? Okay, so my response was that I've already talked to them and, you know, basically after all this time, I want my money back. So that's basically what I'm saying to them. Okay, so basically they're saying here that uh, they can't cancel the order and I can't get a refund until I ship it back to them, which I haven't even gotten it. So I don't even know how that's even possible because it's I'm like caught between a rock and a hard place here. And what I mean by that is I can't return it to you if I've never received it. Uh, your issue is with UPS. Okay, so basically I'm saying that uh, if I can't have what I want, if you won't give me the wig, then I want my money back. Um, I had already explained to them the trouble I've been having with UPS. And that's that. Okay, so right here they're telling me they contact UPS and they'll let me know what they say in time. And that they replied and they were going to ship it to another address. And let us confirm your uh, needs. And I've already told them what the needs were and my problems that I was having and that my request was denied. And I'm checking the address again and I'm telling them that um, they're asking me to check my uh, if my address is correct again, which my address is correct. It's just I want it redirected to a UPS location. And um, at this point, I had had enough. Okay, so I don't know if you remember this madness began on December the 7th. It is now the 20th. So I went on ahead and applied um, a dispute with PayPal. And their response is, um, we saw you put in a dispute. And uh, we can help you change the address. But first, you need to cancel this dispute. Okay, so my response was basically, what is the point of initiating a dispute? A dispute? If you haven't even come to a resolution, which they haven't, all they're telling me to do is cancel my dis dispute and then you're going to do the resolution. And that sounds like a bit of trickery for me and that's not going to work. I need you to fix the problem before I cancel the dispute. So, okay, so right here they say if you do not want to cancel the dispute, they'll change it to their uh, New York store and they'll contact me once it arrives. Okay, so um, we're trying to help you resolve this matter. You should want to resolve it yourself. Don't try to help me. You're helping yourself. Okay, so basically I'm saying that um, I've been stressed out waiting on my product, you know, and it just seems like everything is just being left to the wind and no consideration whatsoever or anything like that. And so um, basically I want my refund. And I don't want no deductions neither because I haven't received anything from you guys. However, you've received my money. Yeah, I said my money because it's a credit card and I'm being loaned this money and I'm going to have to pay it all back with a percentage. Okay, so yeah, that's my money. Okay, so at this point, they uh, basically went back to saying that once they received the package after they had it rerouted, then they're going to give me money, my money back once they received it. And here is what I'm saying. Like, I don't even know why y'all doing that. Because at this point, it's clear that I hadn't received the product. And your issue is with UPS, not me. And I don't think it's fair that you holding my money while you wait on them to ship you something that they never shipped to the buyer myself in the first place. So um, that's what you see me saying here. Okay, so basically their response was we said what we said and um, it is what it is. Okay, so right here they offer me a 50% refund immediately and they're gonna do an investigation and then they're gonna give me the rest. But of course, only if I cancel the dispute and I rely on their judgment to, you know, give me my money back. And clearly they've done everything to prove that I shouldn't trust them in the first place. 
Okay, right here, I'm just talking about like, you know, what are you investigating? I gave you 100%, give me back 100%. So they come back and they buckle down saying, okay, we are not going to give you your money back. And then they're going to offer me 80%. Hope you can consider that even though I paid them 100. So they say they're very sorry. They are indeed very sorry. That's right. Very sad, very sorry people. Okay. And I don't mean sorry like, um, like sorry, but I mean like they're pathetic and um just terrible individuals you are pr pretty much a bunch of thieves in my opinion at this point okay so in this email i'm referring to the fact that um i actually called ups and spoke to a representative and it turns out the package was indeed lost well that's what they're telling me and um that the seller is supposed to fill out some paperwork so that they can get a hundred percent return return and yet they're offering me 90%, 50% and everything as far as like my money back, even though I've gotten no product and I'm just left, you know, just out in the wind. So I'm telling them basically, you know, don't offer me anything other than 100% because I gave you 100%. You give me back 100% because you've given me nothing. Okay, this is the juicy part here. Well, they got a lot of juicy parts here, but they only got $100 back, apparently. When I talked to UPS, they told them, like I said before, they have to fill out that paperwork and they'll be returned 100% of the return uh, product value. But yet still, they're telling me they only got $100 back. Okay, so at some point during this whole situation, I contacted my credit card company, which is Discover. And basically, they had given me um, a return on my money. However, however, they need to see proof of my emails. Okay. We, you know, I mean, they're going to give my money back, but there is a chance they might give it back to the seller, the, the fourth vendor wig that I mentioned here. I may lose it back. So this goes back to the AutoZone situation about me not having proof or showing proof and the credit card company just automatically gives your shit back to them you know what i'm saying even though they didn't give you anything so basically they stole it and then discover it and these credit card companies are aiding and abetting after the fact so that should be a crime right they got a crime for everything else right okay so now on to practicality as far as like giving them proof okay they want you to email it to them that's number one. No, you can't email it to them. They don't have an email address that you can send them information. They so backwards and out of step with technology now. Discover doesn't have an email address where you can send them the things that you need to send them as far as like proving anything. Okay, so secondly, I I tried to do it on their website and I don't have I'm doing all of this on a, a cell phone and I don't have a laptop or a computer. So uh, you can only access uh, the what you call it, um, the place where you're supposed to drag and drop your information that you collected or proof and um, give it to them through there. Otherwise, they can't do it. So I had went to Kinko's and they wanted like 60 something dollars just for me to print all the shit out. And that's not including the, the amount of money it's going to cost to fax all those damn papers. Mind you, I spent over an hour and 30 minutes on the phone with the technician from Discover trying to figure out how we're going to get this information onto their website. So uh, in that particular case, I, would, I was out of already 30, 35, 34 something dollars just from using a computer at, Discover, uh, at Kinko's and talking to a, a representative at Discover in their technical department. You know, it was just a, a mess, you know, and then I'm going to have to spend another 60, 65 dollars to, to even print it. And then not to mention the price it's going to cost to actually fax it to them. I mean, of course, you have the option of email, but like, you know, really. OK, so luckily, Elvin had thought of the library and um, I ended up going over there and uh, doing my printout. Of all of the papers I want to say it was like 60 pages or something um, because it, it wouldn't allow me to do front and back and it was all single pages and I had to go back and count all the which call it's all the the start because that's what discover wanted they wanted you to start from the very beginning when you initiated the sale of the purchase you know 
And I'm thinking to myself, you know, um, is signature required? If I haven't, there's no signature. How the hell are you going to still hold me responsible? Because I haven't even received the package. And if it's signature required, meaning somebody has to physically be there for me to stand there and sign the damn thing. You know, and it's just kind of like make me think twice about this discover thing because honestly, I'm like so pissed off. First of all, it's so difficult to get them the information if you don't have a laptop or computer. And um, and what hangs in the balance is, you know, my money that I had and that I was going to be using towards um, other things, more important things than to just handing it away to some company. And then discover is like a uh, judge jury and executioner and it's I'm, I'm not getting treated fairly here you know so i mean i pretty much hate discover right now and i don't think there's anything they can do to fix the situation um i'm just very frustrated okay so here's a picture of all the pages that i had to collect all together and um, i had to send it by by mail and I was able to put it in an envelope and I think it was like that $7.95 um, shipment thing and it had tracking and um, I had shipped it to them so they had received it that Monday. So according to my phone, this picture was taken on the January 6th and it should have arrived on Monday the 10th and I've got no information from Discover. Uh, today is, uh, as far as like me recording this information, it's on the 15th. And trying to complete this video so yeah my head was out of the game I couldn't post for like a couple of weeks I want to say two this going on three weeks if I miss this week um, just very frustrating because you know um, I don't have much money to begin with and for somebody to play with my funds like that I mean that's um, that's pretty uh, upsetting you know uh, felt I, I had difficulty sleeping and um, difficulty eating being frustrated all the time behind this foolishness you know instead of them just doing the right thing and giving me my stuff and stop cock blocking you know uh when i had sent for uh ups to send it to another location i'm sure the seller has something to do with that you know what i'm saying and they ended up they ended ups ended up losing it in the process so basically when i was, uh, made this video uh first of all to vent secondly um Secondly, um, that when a person or a company in this case shows you who they truly are, then you need to accept that and uh, move in accordance to how they are treating you and everything. So I hope this video was uh, beneficial to someone. Um, like I said, uh, if they show you they sending you uh, garbage from the very start, then you know, you're pretty much going to get garbage from there on out. So. Um, that's what happened in my case and hopefully you can avoid a situation similar to this Don't forget to like comment and subscribe and as always thanks for watching